welcome to day three of the Mind Body Pelvic Health Boot Camp. I'm Dr. Bree. I'm a pelvic floor physical therapist, and I'm so glad that you're here. You understand the importance of looking at the entire person when it comes to pelvic floor health. You need to look above and below the pelvic floor. Now, if you're just joining me for the first time today, I highly recommend going back and starting with day one. On day one, we had a physical challenge and a holistic challenge that really was important for beginning to relax the body and calm the nervous system. Yesterday, day two, we talked about embodiment and using movement, breath, and sound to help release stuck emotion and tension and emotional things we might be holding on to. Now today, day three, we are going to be talking about focus and focus in the form of meditation. So meditation is a really powerful practice for mind-body health and the mind-body connection because it really gives you the opportunity to focus on something that's not your problem or the problem you're currently dealing with. It allows you to bring your mind and your attention away from your problems, your pain, your dysfunction, your discomfort, your challenges, and just focus on something else, whether that is looking at a candle flame flickering, or maybe it's looking at a, a picture, like a, an image of something. You can focus on an image and meditate in that way when you're just starting out. Or you can meditate and focus on your breath. You're focusing on anything that brings you into the present moment and gets you out of the thinking and the worrying and the obsessing about whatever it is that we tend to think about, worry about, and obsess with. A lot of us are thinking about the past or we're worrying about the future or we're really caught up in our health challenges. Maybe we have a health issue or a pelvic floor issue. We can get really caught up in that worry. And so meditation gets us out of that worry and it gets us trained to focus on something else for a short period of time. So today we're gonna meditate for three minutes in a pose that I call my three minute miracle. Now you may have already seen this on YouTube, but this is a really great pose that is great for your physical body, for your pelvic floor, and it opens up your hips, and it's just really relaxing. It's also really great if you happen to have prolapse because it uses gravity to reposition your pelvic organs and pull everything back into place. So like yesterday, we're combining our physical challenge and our holistic challenge into one move. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. I'll just show you the physical challenge first, which is the position that we're going to be in while we're meditating. You'll need to grab either a yoga block or a cushion for under your hips. So go grab that now, push pause if you need to, and I'll just grab my meditation cushion. And what you're gonna do is come down onto your side and lie down on your back. And you're gonna shimmy this yoga block or pillow or meditation cushion under your hips. You're gonna need to lift your butt up to get that under you. So begin by really planting your feet firmly into the floor and inhale and then exhale all your air out. Tighten your buns and lift up and shove the pillow underneath you or the yoga block. Make sure that it's not up in your lumbar area. We don't want it so much in your low back so that you're like arching over it. That's not what we want. We want it under your sacrum. So the very back of your pelvis, that bone in the back of your pelvis. On a model, this is what your sacrum looks like right here. That is your sacrum. So the very back part of your pelvis. That's where we want the pillow to be. Now in this position right here, you can either just stay like this. This is a really nice position. You can even flop your knees apart or you can drop your knees together. There's so many options. If you just wanna be in this nice position where your hips are elevated, this is so great for taking pressure off of your pelvic floor muscles. They do so much work for us all day long. So having your hips elevated just takes the pressure off the pelvic floor. It also repositions your pelvic organs 
using gravity. It kind of pulls everything back into place. So just stay right here if this is enough. If you want more, then you can bring one knee up and then exhale and bring the other leg up. And you can play around with either having your knees apart like this and just holding on behind your thighs or you can hold on between your legs so your feet come a little closer together and your knees are apart and you're in kind of a froggy stretch. Or if you love happy baby pose and you know you love that and if it feels really good to you, you can do that. Now, you can also reposition yourself so that your feet are up against a wall. The options are truly endless. I am going to come back to this side position and I'm going to do my favorite version, which is behind the thighs and my elbows on the ground. Now, this is just my level of, you know, flexibility and what works for my body. So just find what works for you. It really doesn't matter. Pick one of the poses with your hips up on a pillow, one of the poses I've shown you, and that is your physical challenge for the day. You can move in this position. We're gonna be here for three minutes. Now bringing in the holistic challenge for the day, which is meditation. And you can meditate in this position, that totally works. The idea of meditation is that we are, again, we're focusing on something that is not, <laughs> you know, your thoughts. Now if thoughts come, actually I'm gonna put my legs down. You stay where you are, find your position that works. So stay where you are, stay in your position, but basically, what I want you to do is if thoughts come, that's okay, you've done nothing wrong, thoughts will come, but just let them go by. So you can imagine that if a thought comes, it's almost like you're putting on a, it on a boat and letting that thought float down the river. You can deal with it later. For the next three minutes, you are simply gonna breathe and you're gonna focus on your breath. It's just a breath meditation. You might think, gosh, Brie, we've been doing this for the last three days now in this, this mind, body, pelvic health boot camp. And yes, we have. We keep repeating this because it takes practice to train your attention to stay with your breath. So I simply want you to focus on the breath for three minutes in your position with your hips up on the pillow, your position of comfort, whatever that may be for you and you're gonna train your attention on the breath. If a thought comes, a worry about the future or a regret from the past or something like that, put it on a boat and float it down the river. Let it pass through like a cloud passing through in the sky and bring your attention back to the breath, breathing in and breathing out. You can even say to yourself, breathing in, breathing out. So here we go. The timer is starting now and I simply want you to breathe and be three minutes of meditation where your focus is the breath, breathing in and breathing out. Don't worry about your pelvic floor. We're not trying to contract or relax anything. Just breathe and be. That's all you have to do. Keep your focus on the breath. The timer is running. Please just relax and breathe and focus on that breath. I will let you know when the time is up. So keep going with your breath, meditation, and enjoy.
We're coming to the end of our three minutes, so make the next breath even deeper. Maybe with an audible sigh. <sighs> and if your knees and legs were up, then swirl your legs around a few times, stirring the pot before placing your feet back on the floor. And then carefully, no matter what position you were in, just gently lift your hips a tiny bit, squeeze your butt muscles, lift your hips, and then pull your yoga block or pillow out of the way. And when you're ready, just come to your side and rest there for a breath or two. And then on your next exhale, push yourself up to a seated position. And I really am proud of you for doing that three minute stretch and meditation. That is just the beginning of rewiring your brain into new ways of thinking and being, new ways of being able to be more present and focused on things other than your problems, your worries, your fears, okay? So good job, you did an amazing thing for your mind and your body. And if you want more information about today's challenges, check the video description and also check the video description to see how you can get this entire 10 day mind, body, pelvic health boot camp sent to you by email. All the information you need is in the video description, so be sure to check that out. And also leave a comment and let me know how you're liking this boot camp, if it's helping you, if you're starting to really understand and appreciate how everything is connected, body and mind, spirit, energy, emotions, it's all connected. So to leave you with our focus phrase or our daily affirmation, that is, my focus grows stronger every day. My focus grows stronger every day. So breathe in as you say this. My focus grows stronger every day. My focus grows stronger every day. My focus grows stronger every day. Good job. Until next time, my friends, eat clean, move every day, and you will shine brighter. And remember to keep focusing and nourishing that mind-body connection, and I'll see you tomorrow for day four. It's a really fun one, so I can't wait for you to come back for it.